Sonia Henney, a standout figure in her era, distinguished herself among contemporaries through remarkable contributions to figure skating and Hollywood. Her impact goes beyond the rink, resonating in the entertainment industry. When reflecting on her works, one might ponder if a particular moment has left a lasting impression. Have you experienced a performance that remains etched in your memory? Feel free to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to this classic Hollywood figure in the comments below. As we delve into intriguing facts about Henny, be prepared for a mix of funny, shocking, and poignant details. Keep watching for a journey through the life of a remarkable talent. What stands out to you about her? Is there a moment that lingers in your memory? Share your stories below. And now, stay tuned for more surprising revelations about this iconic figure from classic Hollywood. Born on April 8, 1912, in Oslo, Norway, Sonja Henny was a figure skater turned actress who left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Hailing from a prominent family, her father, Wilhelm Henny, was a successful furrier, while her mother, Selma Lachman Nielsen, was a former world-class figure skater. Henny's early life revolved around the world of figure skating, a passion she inherited from her mother. She displayed exceptional talent from a young age, winning her first national championship at just 10 years old. Family support and influence played a pivotal role in shaping her career trajectory. A significant turning point came in 1927 when she clinched the World Figure Skating Championship at the tender age of 14, marking the beginning of international acclaim. Success on the ice was fueled by rigorous training and a relentless pursuit of perfection. In 1936, she transitioned from competitive skating to the world of cinema, making her acting debut in the film One in a Million. The decision to embark on an acting career was driven by a desire to explore new horizons and capitalize on fame. This move proved successful, leading to a series of starring roles in musical comedies that resonated with audiences. Her Hollywood career reached its pinnacle in the 1940s, firmly establishing her as a versatile entertainer. On-screen charisma and athletic prowess made her a sought-after talent, and she became one of the highest-paid actresses of her time. Beyond professional achievements, personal life faced its share of challenges, including two unsuccessful marriages. Despite this, she remained dedicated to her craft, leaving an enduring legacy that transcends the realms of both sports and entertainment. In conclusion, Sonia Henney's journey from a prodigious figure skater in Oslo to a celebrated actress in Hollywood is a testament to tenacity and talent. The impact on both the ice rink and the silver screen has left an intriguing and lasting impression in the annals of history. Sonia Henney, a figure skater of remarkable achievements, holds the title of 10-time world champion in women's figure skating, a feat acknowledged by A&E Biography. Her prowess on the ice became evident early in her career, when, at the age of 15 years and 10 months, she secured the gold medal at the 1928 Olympics, making her the youngest Olympic skating champion at that time. However, her public image suffered a significant blow when a photograph surfaced, capturing her in a handshake with Adolf Hitler. This event led to a decline in popularity, as the association with the controversial figure raised eyebrows and cast a shadow on her reputation. Notably, her record as the youngest Olympic skating champion endured until 1998 when American Tara Lipinski, two months her junior, claimed the title. This marked the end of Henny's long-standing record, a testament to the evolving landscape of women's figure skating. In summary, her career showcases remarkable achievements in the world of women's figure skating with an impressive 10-time world champion title and a historic gold medal win at the 1928 Olympics. However, her legacy is also marked by a controversial moment that affected popularity. Transitioning from amateur to professional status, Sonia Henney collaborated with Arthur Wirtz to produce a series of successful ice skating shows. Together, they showcased her prowess on the ice, captivating audiences with remarkable skills. In Hollywood Steps Out, she was caricatured, highlighting her presence in the entertainment industry. The film reflected her influence and recognition, illustrating her impact beyond the ice rink. Throughout her film career, Henny seldom engaged in one-on-one -on -one ice, skating with male partners, opting for brief lifts or two during performances. It remains uncertain whether this choice stemmed from a challenge for others to keep pace with her on the ice, or if it was a testament to her famous ego, unwilling to share the screen during prominent ice dancing sequences. 
This aspect of her career adds an intriguing layer to the legacy, showcasing not only athletic achievements but also influence in a distinct style in the world of entertainment. The transition from ice skating shows to Hollywood caricatures demonstrates the breadth of her impact, leaving an indelible mark on both the sports and entertainment realms. After concluding her film career, Sonia Henney remained in the public eye by producing and starring in a series of live touring ice shows and extravaganzas until her death in 1969. Additionally, she became a naturalized citizen of the United States in 1941, solidifying ties to the country. During the tumultuous events of 1940, when the Nazis invaded Norway, she, strategically out of the country, ensured the safety of her possessions. She telegraphed her maid to prominently display a picture of her with Hitler, autographed by the dictator. This clever move prevented the Nazis from seizing her belongings, safeguarding them throughout the war. Her post-film career showcased resilience and adaptability, transitioning seamlessly into live performances that kept her in the public eye. Strategic decisions during wartime also highlight resourcefulness in navigating challenging situations. In summary, the post-film era was marked by successful ice shows, official assimilation into the United States, and a shrewd maneuver to safeguard possessions during a turbulent period. These aspects contribute to a comprehensive understanding of life beyond the silver screen. Sonia Henney, along with her third husband, amassed a substantial collection of modern art. This collection served as the foundation for the Henny Onstad Art Center in Tampere, located approximately 200 km from Oslo. Both are interred atop a hill overseeing the museum. Securing three Olympic gold medals from 1928 to 1936, she pioneered the transformation of athletic triumph into a lucrative career, marking her as the first skater to achieve such a feat. Notably, her ice skate blade signature graces the cement at Grauman's Chinese Theater, a lasting testament to her impact on the entertainment industry. These facets of Sonia Henney's life encompass her contributions beyond the ice rink, from art curation to Olympic success and Hollywood recognition. The article sheds light on her diverse accomplishments, touching upon her legacy in art, sports, and entertainment, ultimately contributing to a comprehensive understanding of her life beyond the silver screen. Inducted into the World Figure Skating Hall of Fame in 1976 and the International Women's Sport Hall of Fame in 1982, Henny's impact extended beyond the ice rink. Notably, a photograph captured her shaking hands with Adolf Hitler during the 1936 Olympic Winter Games in Germany. In the context of the host nation's leader meeting several contestants, opinions vary on whether to judge her for the encounter. Some argue it's unfair, given the circumstances, while others assert she should have refused to shake his hand. Hindsight, with knowledge of Hitler's later crimes against humanity, adds complexity to this historical moment. Robbed of jewels twice in six months in 1952, she faced personal challenges that contrasted with her public success. These incidents, occurring within a short span, reveal a different facet of her life, highlighting vulnerability and the impact of unforeseen circumstances. Navigating through personal setbacks, her resilience shone as she continued to make significant contributions. Beyond her acclaimed figure skating career and controversial encounters, she transitioned seamlessly into producing and starring in live touring ice shows after concluding her film career. In 1941, she became a naturalized citizen of the United States, solidifying ties to the country. During the tumultuous events of 1940, when the Nazis invaded Norway, she strategically ensured the safety of her possessions by cleverly displaying a photograph of her with Hitler, preventing the Nazis from seizing her belongings. The post-film era showcased her adaptability and resourcefulness in navigating challenging situations. Her strategic decisions during wartime, coupled with successful live performances, underscored a determined spirit that resonated with audiences. This phase of her life, marked by achievements beyond the silver screen, added another layer to her diverse legacy. In collaboration with her third husband, she amassed a substantial collection of modern art, forming the foundation for the Henny Onstad Art Center in Tampere. The couple's final resting place atop a hill overlooking the museum symbolizes their lasting impact on art and culture. Securing three Olympic gold medals from 1928 to 1936, she pioneered the transformation of athletic triumph into a lucrative career. Her ice skate blade's signature at Grauman's Chinese Theater serves as a lasting testament to her influence on the entertainment industry. 
This exploration of her life delves into various aspects, from controversial encounters to personal challenges and enduring contributions. Her legacy encompasses art, sports, and entertainment, creating a comprehensive understanding of a life beyond the silver screen.